Howdy, everyone. Well, you can see the airplane as it currently sits this morning, April 2nd. And I'm sure you guys have probably noticed that the canopy is completely gone. There's a reason for that. The short answer is that I've decided to start from scratch. Well, almost from scratch. So I've removed the entire canopy, the frame, the forward skin, this, this framework that was in here, the forward skin that mounted to that, and the side rails and the, the back area. Um, the reason for that is this. I've been fooling with it, as you guys know. Um, well, maybe you don't know because I've only got like three videos posted on my YouTube channel, but I actually have a ton of them that needed to be downloaded, but I'm going to actually delete all of those. So anyway, I've been working on this for quite a long time and, um, it takes a lot of iteration to, to get it right and to get it nailed down. And I got it pretty darn nice. I was actually quite happy with it. However, in the process, there were just little things along the way that I didn't like. I kept fitting this skin on and off to the frame, and I kept redrilling things and reshaping things. And on the framework itself, I ended up with um, a lot of elongated holes. I ended up with a lot of double holes, if you will, basically two holes right next to one another, like super close to one another. Um, things of that nature. And as it, as I worked through it, that just become, it became more and more evident. One, that I was not happy with the part with being Swiss cheesed. And there were some other things. Uh, there's a reinforcement kit. It comes with the finishing kit, but it's reinforcement plates that go up underneath the frame to help attach the frame to the skin. I wasn't happy with the way that was turning out. So long story short, I decided to start from scratch. Now, I am keeping my side rails and I am keeping the two pieces that go along the back. Those are intact and I will be reusing those. But I did purchase a new frame, a new top skin, and the long piece of angle that attaches the forward part of the frame together. I have that stuff on order. I'm going to start from scratch. I'm going to incorporate all the things that I've learned going through the process initially. I'm going to incorporate all the lessons learned. I'm going to do it my own way in my own order. I'm not even going to look at the way that Vans tells you to do it. I'm going to do it myself the way that I think it should be done, the way that works best for me incorporating the lessons learned so far and I will document that extensively so while I'm waiting on those parts to show up I'm going to move on to something else but I don't know what that something else is right now at the moment so I'll get back to you guys on that here later but for now um, I've got two or three videos on YouTube covering the initial beginnings of working on this frame you can ignore those videos don't even watch them at this point because, like I said, I'm going to re I'm going to cover all this again from scratch, doing it the way that I think it should be done. Is it going to work? Don't know. We'll find out. But uh, that's the plan. Alrighty. Again, thanks for stopping in. Thanks for watching. Hang in there, guys. We'll we'll get some traction here shortly and start knocking out some stuff. Hopefully. All right. Talk to you later.